Hello, welcome back. Let's read the Chronicles first, shall we? Without warning or any clear design, a dragon set up, sets upon Castardis, the village you call home. The fisher folk flee in terror from the worm, a beast well feared as destruction incarnate. Yet you decide tis better to stand and fight than to flee and falter. You face this challenge. You wake to find yourself a bed in your room. That's not my room I was in. Was the dragon of salt but a dream? But did the worm truly call to you? The, the disquiet that plagues your heart certainly feels real enough. You'd best check on your belongings and see how the village fares. The village is calm once again, but the dragon's attack still weighs heavily upon the minds and bodies of your fellow fisherfolk. All this because you cannot protect them. You are racked with shame over the sheer whatever of your abilities. That word's really messing with me. Anyway, so that was the recap of what happened. And the quest I am looking for is um, hanging around up here. So I search all the houses. Fisherman's house. Nothing. Bum, psh, bum, psh. I'll take that too. Oh, you got a you own a very big place, dude. So he's either praying in the church or hanging around his house. Do you sell anything? Up to your old mischief, Minnow. If you've time to gad about, make yourself useful. I'm about to save the world. The dragon was coming. The faith can keep their prophecies. The dragon is that voice around, sure as the season. The voice of Izzy from uh, Digimon. You look well, child. You do sell stuff. Oh yeah, I, I didn't grab them. Fine, but I will take. And you have infinite amounts too. I will take ten. Sure. <laughs> Is there any oil around here? I forgot to grab oil, even though I could have easily done that. This town, oh, this town, this building got screwed by the dragon. There we go, oil. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Very entertaining gameplay. Eight, nine, ten. Right? Ten. Good. Are you in here, quest giver? New. No. Oh, hey. Last boy. I'll take it. Doom, doom. The quest is actually very simple. Was this the best building I was just in? How about this building? Another flask of oil? Nope, that's water. Alright, well, let's just check the church. Doom, doom. Open. Are you in here? Yep, there you are. So. Pay a moment. I would not ask this of anyone but you, cousin. I have news for Merin. Dark news. I fear I cannot bring myself to face him. Will you go in my stead? Yes. His brother is dead. It happened on the shore ways. We were fleeing the worm, and he, Cortez, leapt before the beast talons to shield us. I saw it, saw him hurtling through the air, saw him fall back to the ground. I did nothing, just watched the poor man die. Sound like to me, he died a hero I though. face Merin for the shame of it. He deserves to know what happened, but I... Please, please go and tell him. He saved your life, I'm a dragon. 
He died an honorable death. The other side of the village to turn this quest in, and then finally can move on with the main quest. In fact, this should give me the achievement. We're about to find out. I did everything else. Yo, your brother's dead. No talk. There we go. What? Cortez is found? I... I see. Elvar has suffered in this as well. Cortez made his choice. He faced his end with valor and died a man. Elvar bears no fault in that. See? There's no cause to blame himself. Told you, he died honorably. My thanks, good Fisher. I am sorry this burden fell upon you. I shall go and put Elvar at ease. Boom! Oh, I got to report back. All right, quest isn't done yet. I can see how these are easy to miss because you don't visit this side of the village very often. Pretty much just hang out at the end and that's it. I didn't even know there was a church here. Until a couple playthroughs ago. Even though I did run up here during one of the missions. But I wasn't paying attention to building. I was paying attention to what the mission objective was. I thank you, cousin. Pray forgive the trouble my cowardice has placed upon you. Cortez did not trade his life for mine, so I could wallow in idle self-pity. I live the best I am able, for his sake. Boom! A hero. Now that remains... There's two achievements, right? Complete all pre-planned non-notice board quests. Luckily those carry over between playthroughs. So what's left? Oh yeah, I got 70 pawns and then... That's much later on, which I will do in this let's play for that secret achievement. Sweet! Now we can finally progress. Boom. 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 Hopefully I don't miss any quests. I do have the nook to tell me. Actually, is she here yet? Because that's a quest I'll easily miss. No. What we got? Feed ten bandits. Sure, I'll take it. Ten goblins, I'll take it. Nah, no. Nah. Don't face many sarins. Sarians. Alright, I think that's it. some unknown place just appear without a warning they are a strange lot they're also attracted to the original not human quite they look the part sure enough but they lack the will the spark what drives us they have no capacity to feel nor act alone so they live as cell sorts myrmidons they're called hmm. there's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Um, he's very, 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 very low level, but I'll, I'll drag him along for a while. Before leaving, visit the store to make sure you've ample supplies. And he's already joined my team. How are you wounded already, dude? Heal. I can't activate those yet. Hold on, examine. There's alt there. Pun a pawn. Actually, oh, wrong button. 
You are encountered by a pawn, one of a, one of a race oft hired for their material skills. Or that martial. I think that's martial skills. Neither human nor inhuman, these myrmidons, myrmidons, I just heard him say it too, damn it, make their presence known to those fated for battle. Most like this pawn will lead you down the path you're meant to travel. The he is not a player pawn. The online portion of this game allows you to summon other players pawns. And pawns can learn how to do missions and fight enemies and stuff and guide you through quests. Actually, that's do missions is. To the encampment. This path should see us but it's there. a neat concept for online play. So that right now, see, he's guiding me towards the encampment, which is just a straight run. Hey, we finally get to some combat other than that dragon. I look painful. Nope, nope. You're all dead. Yes. That was far too close. I'm called Reynard. I gotta do stuff with you later too. Beasts ruined my wares. But thanks to you, recover. It was only wares I lost. You have my thanks. Too bad you don't sell that grade of equipment. Hunk of ore, I don't need you. So what was that? Goblins and bandits. There were the mission. There's the bunnies hanging around up here. Boom. Boom. Oh yeah, you can turn on subtitles for the pawns, but I don't recommend it because they speak a lot. And they always repeat the same dialogue in every single spot. But hey, we made it to the encampment. That XP and money. Pony pawn. I don't think there's anything missable. The capital is the best place to purchase items and equipment. I can. If memory serves. Are you a player pawn? Hello. Yes, you are, level 102. But I can't do anything with you. I know the way, Master. Follow me. Boom. Boom. Hello, Mercedes. What to say, sir? Excuse me. Have all you need? We are an end first and foremost, but we offer more than simple logic. We can safeguard your belongings or aid in learning new skills. Oh, you allow me to change my vocation? Like? No, no, you don't. You allow me to learn skills. But I require weapons and equipment. Not for myself. But my, for my pond. He still wears this. Uh, Hellfire armor. Chainmail. Immortal bracer. Demon hosen. Betrayer's greaves. Sovereign's mantle. Ah, uh, yes, you need stuff for you. Fighter's ring. Nope, that's for assassins. Knockdown power 39. Oh, no, take that. There we go. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again. You're welcome. Well met, sir. Can you hear our voice? Yes. Strange and impersonal greeting. This 
This rift serves as a gate. It connects our kind to your world. Sweet. It opens to the arisen. This is also very useful for hard checkpoints. And also standing next to him heals your pawns. If you would claim to be among the arisen, prove the strength of your resolve. I am arisen. Very well. Then we shall guide you in your trial. <coughs> if you are an arisen in proof, this humble task will prove no obstacle. The arisen must possess the valor to stand against all threats and the power to quell them. A tireless spirit of self-improvement grants the strength to lead the legion. Correct. Show him now. Oakley Dookley. Ah, see, now you're being healed. So there has to be a quest around here somewhere. And we're about to find one. The beast comes! Hurry! Steal yourself for combat. Journey ends swiftly for the unprepared. That is true. That is very true. The wounded ogre, no, ogre, troll. I got it. Oh. Let's take care of these goblins. I do have a quest related to them. He had a symbol on his forehead. Kill the goblins! Kill the minions! Nope. Look out! Oh no, up oh, again. Even fully health ones are gonna be like that. That guy isn't suspicious or anything. What do you got for me? Something I don't use, rugged bone, rugged tusk. Times are hard indeed. Oh, I was questioning why my daggers were on fire because he's a mage, so he boosts my magic, or he gives me magic enhancement. We've done as asked. Let us go and give word. All right, I proved myself an arisen. What's next? Easy. You are the arisen in truth, proven beyond any doubt. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. They shall serve you and you alone to share in your hardships and aid you in every endeavor. Yay, now I get to customize my pawn, which I don't think I'll do any new changes to him. Half the time you won't see his face. Pawn customization. Set the look of your constant companion. Throughout your journey as arisen, your main pawn. He's the one that players can summon. Which some people have. We'll find out. So of course, Fantasy Star reference continues. I'm playing as Rika, so his name is Chaz. I should probably add Ashley to his last name and make it stick for people. But I'm too lazy for that. Steal yourself for combat. Steal yourself for combat. Actually, I do want to make a change. I want to make him a little bit taller. Where can I do that? Heights. Oh, he's at 180, 184. It also increases his, uh, how much he can carry. Which one do I want to do? 
Let's do 184. That's really about it. Give him the scar. Chaz yeah, never had any scars. But do I want to give him a cigar, though? Uh, ah, the scars. Um, I, uh, I'm personally always a fan of the scar over one of the eyes for some reason. I don't know why. But let's just stick with that. Facial hair. Huh. <laughs> Jeff Ramsey. Nope, sticking with the peach fuzz. I don't know Chaz's hair color. Or, he's a blonde. I don't know what his eye color was, so let's just stick with the default. Whatever I have now. So all we did was make him taller. Perfect. This is. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, fighter. I gotta choose his vocation. You're gonna be fighter. I should be ending this part. Fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men call pawns live and die by your command. One minute you're fighting dry, or one minute you're living a peaceful life in a fishing village, the next you have an entire pawn legion, and you're destined to fight a dragon. Strange times indeed. The Hellfire armor is the best armor he can get. At least for chess. I have to grind it out on Bitter Black Isle for more of the good equipment. Whoa, that boosts strength by 10. Well, it doesn't fit my appearance. This does. Fighter's Ring, Fighter's Band. Alright, Chaz. Equip. 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 Where the hell did I get that? Equip. Equip. Yeah, there we go. Dragon Aegis and the Cursed Light. There we go. I still don't like the fact that the chainmail pops out underneath his armor, but that's the kind of the armor's fault. I still need the arms and the mask. Alright, but he's good to go. Who are you? Hello. Yes, Arisen. You're an online player. Soul. And there's all their information. You haven't been to many places. I mean, you. Well, you haven't. Well, you have. You haven't fully explored some of them. All the quests. There's their enemy knowledge.
enhances. Hello. Should I take her? I mean, it's gonna cost me 39,000, but I have plenty. What do you got, actually? Hold on. The advanced form high burger that generates an even quant even greater quantity of icy spears. Erodes last stand, drops lightning bolts around the user. You have fire, ice attacks, and looks like lightning. Healing. Uh causes enhancements to persist for a longer period of time. Halves the severity of wounds, use the same one twenty spells. Makes it difficult for foes to knock you off your feet whilst you intone spells. Increases the duration of curative magic effects. Greatly augments your magic. Diminishes the time required to intone any spell. Ah, fuck it. You sound good. Let's, you, let's go with it. I am honored to travel with you. Plus you're a high level. So you can stick with me for a while. A Speaking of fancy star references, like, I don't... Whoops, wrong button. Damn you, fancy star. I was looking at it later, but it makes me so goddamn happy that one of the top player pawns on online has a character named Nay, which is another fancy star reference, in which Nay would be um, well Rika before Rika. She was the first Newman in Rika's Nay 2.0. So it makes me happy that there's a fancy star reference in this game from another player. Master and his pawn, is it? You'll be quite the force come the day you learn to fight as one. The program better not crash in the next minute, because I need to end the part. You, that is a skill better honed in practice than in the heat of mortal combat. Dun 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 mortal combat. Alright, let's do some training. The man of the enlist let me do it. Each serves to hone a different quality. You'll need more. Yeah. If you find a task too difficult, we're good. There are other pawns here. You can choose among them if you care to. The first task is carrying freight. All the lot of them before my count ends. You're free to choose your company, but this is a task too great for just one person. Many hands lighten any load, as they say. Now. Get <laughs> we'll begin. I'm ready. Let's carry some boxes. I'm not sure how this is supposed to help us train to fight and all that stuff, but eh, whatever. Guess it'll teach us teamwork. There's a box. There's another box. And there's two more boxes. Deliver to that point. Go! Alright, I'll go for this one over here. Sha! I think we just grab them all in one go. Mages in this game are typical mages, they're squishy. Is that it? Yep. Enough. Did we impress you, sir? Well done. Meet each challenge with that vigor, and you'll make for a fine warrior before long. Next is combat training. You'll face my scarecrow army here. Destroy them before my count ends. Ugly Dugly. We'll be of help again, but you must choose your companions wisely. A comp Party composition is important, yes I know. Less effective than using a varied approach. Choose well. We'll begin as soon as you Let's do it. I feel that. Let's shoot some scarecrows. I'll spell it with a spell. Yep. Miss. Miss. There we go. Make your soldiers look like a joke, don't we? And you'll make for a fine warrior of four long. <coughs> right then. Finally, you'll be destroying more scarecrows. But don't expect a repeat of the last. There are two sorts of scarecrow. 
One can only be attacked by melee, one can only be attacked by magic. But I have a magic bow, so I can do both. Which is kind of the advantage of a magic archer, which is a class I have never played before. Rock and roll! See? Counts as both. It also takes away your sheer striking damage. Any more? Yep, up there. Plenty of time. keep our party full. No harm in being prepared. We don't really need a full party, but I like carrying a full party. We best keep our party full. No harm in being prepared. Man, they always say the same stuff. Alright, well I shall end this part here and continue on to the next. Considering this is an RPG, I might let this go part Bleh, wow. Let this be a thirty minute episode thing. What do we got here? Slay two seabirds, phantasms, undead warriors, spiders, cyclops, female bandits. You got the armor I want. Hello. Yes, Arisen. You're also max level. Is it? Yep, Hood of Oblivion. You have the armor. Coat of Oblivion. That would be a nice one. Gradually restores HP. Gauntlets of, of Oblivion. You don't have the boots of Oblivion, though. So you almost have the full Oblivion armor. You got more grinding to do, buddy. Gauntlets of Oblivion. Slightly restores stamina when you deliver the killing blow to an enemy. Gradually restores health. Two hundred ninety-one. Uh, also a ranger. Yes, also max. Yes. All right. Well, that's enough of this bullshit. Thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video.